this has the worst title for the experience you have actually watching it, because it is the exact opposite. You'll know when you hear it. Hi, everyone! It's me, Grant, the movie and TV guy. How you doing? Welcome to Raise and Popcorn with Grant. The only theatrical movie this weekend. <laughs> What's new? Uh, summer's starting next week, guys. Summer movie season will be in full swing, and... This is a dead week. So, um, let's begin, though. We do have a few movies this weekend. Let's start with the only theatrical film, which I saw tonight, and that is... Um, the movie's in G3. Do you hear that film is Memory? Ironically titled. Uh, Memory is directed by Martin Campbell and is the latest film from the Liam Neeson action dream factory. Um, the next off the assembly line after the awful blacklight. Here's the... Th well, let's tell you what it's about first. Okay, so Memory. Um, it's taken variation number 117. So essentially... <laughs> Memory is about um, a character named Brian Mills. No, I'm just kidding. His name is Alex. Played by Liam Neeson. He is... Um, that's what you'd assume it's about. He is a he is a tra hired killer um, with Alzheimer's uh, that is slowly degrading his mind and his memory. Um, that's the title. Um, when we meet him, he is strangling a man to death. But, of course, even he has his limits... Um, the real star of this movie, though, really comes in at the beginning, and that's Guy Pierce, who's actually giving a really good performance, uh, playing, um, Officer Sarah. He is, um, an officer trying to take down, FBI agent trying to take down, um, a ring of child sex traffickers, um, in Mexico, um, and he, eventually, he and Neeson's paths will cross, um, in their pursuit of not only taking down the bad guys, but the top bad guy, um, uh, or is in this case, Bad Woman, played by Monica Bellucci, another actor who's kind of wasted here. Um, but will his memory ultimately fade, fail him? And will Guy Pierce, his character Sarah, ultimately catch the bad guys? And or is the bad guy the guy who's trying to help him? Let the double crosses, triple crosses, and uh, gun battles begin. So. And then fade as quickly as they enter your brain. Uh, memory is very, very not good. It is very, very not good. The reason I say very, very not good instead of outright bad is because it is way better than Blacklight by like a country mile. However, the movie dumb. Um, this movie is really dumb. And the thing is, is that I don't like being that guy because up until Blacklight, I kind of generally like these Liam Neeson action movies. I love Taken. Taken is the first one. is still one of my favorite like. Uh, modern action films but somewhere around Honest Thief it was just kind of like it's, it went from four to three and a half and then I saw The Marksman and I was like oh this is actually good it was one of his better offerings and then he did The Ice Road which was kind of a little bit worse and then Blacklight which is terrible and this one which is not as bad as Blacklight but it's still not good and just there are multiple problems here with memory first and foremost um the good things. Guy Pierce is great, Liam Neeson is great, and Monica Bellucci is great. They deserve way better than this. In general, and just as a performance-wise, they're really great. Um, in fact, um, this week on my podcast, which I'm going to shamelessly jerk myself off and tell you about my podcast, um, we're talking from the vault of a uh, um, older Monica Bellucci film, which I find an uh, action film, which I saw finally um in a segment called the watch list on my podcast it's a film from 2007 and you'll find out what it is if you listen to the podcast do it listen um which was a lot better than this one um and so you just you see these talented actors and they're wasted it also was not lost on me that the movie is called memory Liam Neeson writes things on his body to remember stuff and Guy Pierce is in this kind of sounds like another better movie memento that's what it was I think that's what it was called um and this film was directed by Martin Campbell. And the thing is, like, Martin Campbell is a director I really do like more often than not. Um, I love Mask of Zorro. I love Casino Royale. I love GoldenEye. And even, like, his also-rans, like, the protege from last year, I kind of enjoyed. And um, I'm one of the few people who could who could, went to bat a little bit for Green Lantern. I didn't think it was that bad. Um, Legend of Zorro was meh. But other than, I mean... And, like, his other kind of movie like this, The Foreigner, I actually kind of liked. Uh, that was one with ja uh, Jackie Chan and Pierce Brosnan. Um, that was a good one. But this one just really wasn't. It was just... There's something about it. 
It was one of these movies where... How do I break this down? So I'm going to give you some um, a spoiler warning, some minor spoiler warning like I often do with movies that I don't like. So it's just spoiler warning, because I want you to not waste your time and risk getting COVID to go see this movie. So, first, first of all, if you're going to put incendiary elements in this movie, like I said, nothing is off limits in movies if it serves a purpose. I've always been that way. Nothing is off limits if it's used appropriately and it's used in a way that can actually further the story and the emotional investment. But I'm sorry, when it doesn't, it just feels kind of gross. This movie has child sex trafficking and, honestly, not graphic, but, like, the implications are very strong. This movie's rated R, I should mention. And it also has um, Alzheimer's as a, sub as a plot, which are serious, serious um, subject matter that should be taken seriously. Not to prop up a B-movie to seem more important than it actually is. This movie is not good. But then on top of that, the movie itself is just silly at parts and kind of stupid. I, there were a couple of parts where I genuinely had to stifle laughter. And I'll tell you what those parts are. First off, because I don't want this to go too long. But first off, because I don't think it's worth the extra time. First off, I'll say this. There's a scene where Liam Neeson meets a woman at a bar um, at this hotel he's staying in. The, he probably properly scares off um, this guy who's hitting on her. Uh, actually, kind of in a cool way, I have to admit. Um, very Liam Neeson, anyway. They have sex. He wakes up. He finds out that this little girl he was supposed to, that um, he didn't kill, um, that he decided because of his moral code, um, was murdered after all. His, the, he is, you know, sure, he is, uh, not sure, he has Alzheimer's. His, the woman comes out. <laughs> He grabs her and is just like, was I here all night? And like, just, and it's not like, Scar the Variety, like, I'm going to touch her, he goes, yes. Yeah, you were. He goes, was I here all night? And he goes, she goes, yes. Like, are you sure? He goes, yes, you're hurting me. <laughs> are you sure? And then he grabs her and then, sure enough, like, he's doing it longer than he sh ever needed to. And then he goes, yes, absolutely, you were here. He goes, all right. And he grabs her again. He's like, he's like, you need to leave right now. They're coming for you. And he's just, this poor woman is being like, just ragdoll. I just couldn't help but kind of laugh. It reminded me of the scene in Airplane. <laughs> the woman is having a panic attack on the airplane. And Leslie Nielsen and a line of other passengers are there with various instruments to like calm her down. And it just was really funny. In like an unintentional way. Because it's like, Liam, you're, stop shaking the nice, the nice lady. Um, secondly, now this is the stupidest part. Okay, so this is one of those situations, almost like a fugitive kind of situation, where Guy Pierce is kind of supposed to be, at, he thinks hunting Liam Neeson, but then he kind of, like, begrudgingly is like, yeah, do your vigilante shit. Okay, so there's always a scene in this kind of movie where um, the vigilante in question calls the authority figure in question, and they have a little chat, and usually they're tracing the call. But usually they do it a, a safe distance, right? In this movie, <laughs> I don't know why nobody else is putting this out in, this, in their reviews, because it's really funny. <laughs> this movie... Okay, let me just put it this way. Guy Pierce is in, like, a building. He's looking out a window. The, the front walkway of this building has a bench on it. Liam Neeson is sitting on that bench, and from his point of view, through the window... Martin Campbell makes it clear that they are within eye line of each other. Now, he doesn't know who, who he's looking for yet. He doesn't know, he hasn't ID'd him, so fair enough. But he sees Liam Neeson on the phone, talking intensely by the park bench, and anyone with eyes and a, and a functioning brain could look at Liam Neeson and go, he's our guy. He's right in our eye line, he's talking intensely, and anybody who can read his lips, which are visible can tell that he's saying it. Even the frequency of the phone and, like, sort of, like, the echo of the phone could probably hit at that range. Talking to him. And uh, his partner, who cannot pick an accent to stick with it, she's like, trace the call, 15 seconds. And he's like... And he's like, yeah, okay. And he keeps talking to him. And I'm just sitting there in the theater so tempted to go like, hey, dumb fuck, stand up and go outside. It's your guy. Because it's like... Like, use your brain. He's right there. 15 seconds. He's on the park bench. Well, no shit. <laughs> He's on the bench out front. Well, no shit. Runs out. Tense music plays. Damn it. God damn it. He got away. And I'm just like, yeah. 
Yeah, I know. Really dumb. And this is the whole movie is like that. And again, these are serious subject matters that should not be in movies that are this silly. Like, there's no attitude that these filmmakers have toward these issues. They're just putting them in there to have an incendiary element in the film. Look, this movie's terrible. I'm not, but at the same time, I'm not going to give it a, ha a, a, a zero star. I'm not going to give it a one star because I think there are genuinely good things in it. Guy Pearce's performance, as unintentionally funny as some things are, there's some things that really work. I think that Liam Neeson's really good. There's some good scenes. There's even some good lines in it. And the filmmaking is solid. I mean, it's Martin Campbell. But it's just everything else. The stuff that's bad is so bad that it overwhelms it. And the other thing, too, is that beyond everything else, I'm going to forget this movie existed probably by the time Doctor Strange comes out on Thursday. It's just going to be a flash in the pan, and then eventually I'm going to be flipping through HBO Max, and I'm going to see it pop up and go, oh yeah, memory. Which Liam Neeson movie was that? Was that the one with the deep state? No, wait, that was Blacklight. Like, that's what it's going to be. <laughs> so yeah, memory, um... I gave it to it on Twitter. I might as well keep it two stars out of five. Just let's close the book on it. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't very good. Just, Liam, please do an indie movie now. We, we need you. We need you to be a good actor again in good movies. Um, all right. Yeah. Two out of five stars for, um, I already forgot. Memory. <laughs> right. Ironically, I was going to say Blacklight again. Honest to God, I forgot for a second. <laughs> Wow. All right. Um, trade the trash. We can go through these pretty quickly. Um, the Duke looks good. Apparently, it's already out in select theaters. It's playing at the front, act, but yeah, I'll, I'll see it if it comes here. I'm looking forward to it. Elvis, I uh, can't wait. Getting sick of the trailer though. Bullet Train, getting sick of the trailer looks good. Nope, looks good. Sick of the trailer. The boys, Bob, the boy, the Bob's Burgers movie looks good. Sick of the trailer. Top Gun Maverick, good. Sick of the trailer. Doctor Strange: The Multiverse of Madness. We are going in less than a week. Looks good. Sick of the trailer. Um, was there Sharma? No, there was not. Okay, we will be back, um, this weekend at some point, either between later tonight or Sunday, for reviews of the Hulu, um, romantic comedy Crush, starring Rowan Blanchard. We will also, um, be coming this weekend for a review of the HBO Max, uh, film, uh, The Survivor, starring Ben Foster and Vicky Creeps. Um, we will also, um have a new podcast episode up on Spotify this weekend where we talk about that as well as um, I'm seeing everything every all at once a second time this time in IMAX tomorrow night so we might have a, a deep dive a kind of second second look at that as well as um, my from the watch list which you can only find on my podcast of the other Monica Bellucci movie I saw this week um, that is your clue um, it's from 2007 there's your clue um yeah and uh, that, the link to that will be in the description below. Um, that'll all be next time, and until next time, I'm Grant the Movie and TV Guy. I see it all, and I'm happy to share it with you. I love you all. I appreciate you all. Um, I love you all, Class of Mist. I love you 2,000. Be kind to one another. If you like this video, give it a like if you want to. Give it a subscribe if you want to. Give it the bell. I don't know what it does. If that's what it's supposed to do. Or so I've been told. If you want to find me elsewhere, reviews, lists, and other fun stuff, you can check me out on letterbox.com at Raised on Popcorn with Grant, or you can find my podcast on Spotify at Raised on Popcorn with Grant, the podcast. Some of you already have, but even if you haven't, take care of yourself, take care of your mental health. It's incredibly important, and um, I want to know down below, what did you think of memory? <laughs> Again, I forgot. Whew, memory. Um, did you like it? Did you hate it? Do you think my opinion's good? Do you think I'm full of shit? Comment below, let me know. And um, tell me again, we were all raised on popcorn, make my own extra butter. Catch you guys next time. Take care. Bye.